if you want to score goals. Drilled into the top. That was a fine strike. You need the ball. It's tactically interesting to know how quickly a Bundesliga team wins the ball back after losing possession. And to find out, the DFL has introduced the new Bundesliga match fact, ball recovery time. This new stat shows precisely how quickly a team regains possession, with different teams opting for different strategies, depending on their strengths and weaknesses. Teams like Bayern currently have a playing style where they look to dominate and be constantly in possession. When they lose the ball, they immediately want it back, so they press early and high. It means their ball recovery time value is quite low. And now Coman to sprint away. It's Coman for Bayern. Away from Renault to make it two. Here again against Augsburg, Bayern want the ball back quickly after a turnover. They look to counter press. Bayern are the Bundesliga leaders here. They want to dominate through winning the ball. And when that happens near the opposition goal, there isn't far to go for a shot. Here, the ball is recovered after just 7.5 seconds, thanks to Joshua Kimmich. Bayern then launch a new attack through him, resulting in a goal. João Cancelo with a great ball in. Alfonso Davies with a terrific goal. Other teams allow their opponent to control proceedings and only begin attempting to win the ball back in their own half. Lying in wait is Union Berlin style, as seen by their ball recovery time against Leipzig which is far higher than that of their opponent. Their quick attacks mean this is still a tactic that works very well for them. And it is Geraldo Becker who cuts inside and finds the top corner. A turnover of possession can be a key moment. The question each team must then answer is whether to press or allow the opposition to come at you. Like Union, Bayer Leverkusen prefer to maintain their shape and drop back before striking at the right moment. After losing the ball here against Bremen, they don't immediately push, they wait. The forwards drop back and allow Werder to take control of the play. Only once they're back in their shape is the player in possession targeted. So ball recovery time allows insight into the tactics of a team. Pressing or regrouping into formation is a question of playing philosophy. Ball recovery time doesn't automatically say anything about the quality of a team. If you have quick attackers like Leverkusen, sitting and countering can be a very good approach. It's 3-1! This new Bundesliga match fact can also show how a team's philosophy changes within a game. When you're trailing, you need to chase more. Like here in Bremen's game against Gladbach. After twice going behind, Werder vastly reduced their ball recovery time in the second half, choosing to attack more quickly in search of an equaliser. Dux! How cool was that from Marvin Dux? Ball recovery time also shows how good a team is at avoiding losing possession. Like Borussia Dortmund here against Köln, who are usually very quick to win the ball back, but are given no chance on this occasion. Köln's ball recovery time in this game was far higher than the average for the season. Dortmund just moved the ball around and are then clinical in attack. So ball recovery time can also show when a game plan isn't working. It's Marlon and now Guerrero! Ball recovery time, the new Bundesliga match fact powered by AWS, provides useful analytical insight into the general philosophy of a team, but also how tactics change within a game and when a team is forced by an opponent to go from reacting to being proactive. It compares the performances of two teams and demonstrates whether one side is able to implement its game plan or not.